Listen guys, no situation is permanent. No situation is permanent. I don't care what anyone tells you. I don't care how bad you feel of a situation you're currently in. It's not permanent. You can change it gradually. It might take time. It might not happen right away, but it's not permanent. So why are you soaking in the temporary situation you could find yourself in? It doesn't make sense. But this is what most people do because they don't understand life is truly a marathon. And there really is no such thing as an L as long as you're using the information you learned in your L to convert it into a W. The problem is it's hard for a lot of people to convert and reflect on the L that they took because they don't want to talk about it. You know, something embarrassing happens to somebody. They don't want to talk about it. They make a mistake. They don't want to talk about it. Oh, you didn't see that. You got to be reflecting on the mistakes you made so that you can use that knowledge to take a W. So the reason why L's truly don't exist is because you control if they exist or not. They only exist in your brain. How many successful people do you think just got it right on the first try? Not many of them. In fact, most of, most of the successful people on the planet, by any definition you wanna categorize as successful, have made a complete, you know, a complete portfolio of mistakes like every person has to make a certain level of mistakes to gather information it's all about information at the end of the day you know when i was a trainer guys i walked into the gym let me tell you i thought it was going to be a breeze i'm like i got an athletic background you know i've been working out for years i'm gonna walk in here and dominate right wrong because i didn't know i thought i knew all the answers and i didn't realize that when it came to personal training it's a lot more than just the training itself you have to establish a personal connection with the people that you train you have to really you know care to ask them how their day is you have to care about all sorts of things on a personal level to make them want to train with you it's not as simple as you just give them a great workout so when i first came into the gym i was just you know i was busting people's asses and i was wondering why people wouldn't want to sign up with me if they just had this great workout it's because it's much more than the workout when it came to personal training like i said it's about that personal connection i didn't learn that though until people weren't signing up with me until I was sitting in that, that office with my head down like, damn, I have no clients. I've been here for like three weeks. What's going on? Am I ever going to get a client? I could have easily quit then. And if I quit, that would have made my L permanent. But guess what? I used the information of, okay, this is what I'm doing currently. Let me switch my approach. And when I switched my approach, I started to see more success. So I would pay attention to the patterns of failure so that I could translate those patterns into patterns of success. So I started to realize, hey, you know, when I establish more of a personal connection, people want to be around me more. People want to train with me more. And it just became simple to me. So going forward, I was able to 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 completely capitalize on the information that I learned. You see what I'm saying? So I went from making a McDonald's salary to damn near making six figures just by making that small tweak. It wasn't hard. You just got to understand people who are successful just know something you don't. But the reason you don't know that information is because you're not willing to lose. If you're not willing to lose, you'll never win. And I had, it took me a little bit to learn that. You know, no one wants to take, to take an L. You know, the average person doesn't want to take an L. But what they don't tell you is an L is really a gateway to a W. An L is a gateway to a W. So you should actually, in reality, welcome an L because you didn't take an L. You just learned something. If you learn from every mistake you make, there is no such thing as an L. There's no such thing. But when you quit on yourself, when you give up and you give into your circumstances, all the work you did, it amounts to nothing. And this is what people do. They wallow and, and they sulk in their circumstances, not realizing that it's their energy they put into it that's dictating what's happening. I could have easily quit, bro. I could have easily quit and got a job in my major that I wouldn't have been happy with because I don't have a passion for it. But I stayed in it. I trusted myself. That trust is what kept me in it. It's not easy to show up to a gym, bro, and work 18 hours 
literally 16, 18 hours in a day. Like you could sleep at the gym, bro. Like my gym opens up early 5 a.m. all the way to close. You in the gym for all these hours, you know, day after day after day, and you're making like 400 a week to start off. You, you feel like it's pointless. It feels truly pointless to you. But when you stick in it, when you really learn and you sacrifice, you'll understand it was all for it was all to let you win in the end. It was all for the, the purpose of you. You got to Everyone got, has to wait. You have to learn before you win. No one wins automatically. So my message to you guys is reflect on your personal circumstances right like 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 think about the l's you tend to take on a daily basis or maybe a weekly basis or whenever you take an l reflect on it what led you to that circumstance don't just brush it off your memory because it was embarrassing no think about what you did and what you can apply next time so you get you just continually get better and better and better it doesn't matter what it is. It doesn't matter if it's with women. It doesn't matter if it's with your career. It doesn't matter if it's, you know, psychological, spiritual. It don't matter. You can always apply the knowledge you 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 took from a, a loss and convert it because it's just energy. You can convert negative energy to positive energy. Just like a lot of people, they convert positive energy into negative energy and they don't even realize it. So it's your boy Dipsy. Just keep that in mind, guys. No situation is permanent. I'm going to catch y'all later, man. Peace out.